What's up gorgeous? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, feel free to say hi in the comments below. And I say hi back because I don't always get to respond to those comments. So hi in return if you end up saying hi. <laughs> um, if you are not new, as always, welcome back. And if you end up liking what you see in here, then by all means, feel free to subscribe to the channel if you wish. Uh, so that you don't miss out on any upcoming readings because I do them weekly. All right, uh, we're going to have a look at what is going on this week between Libra connected to an Aries, Libra and Aries. Um, just because you are a Libra or possibly an Aries, that doesn't mean, though, that any part of this reading will resonate with you in your story or your situation. So just keep that in mind and remember to only take what does resonate, if anything even does, and leave the rest. You don't ever want to try and force a reading to fit your situation. And if nothing resonates with you, then you are always welcome to check out the Libra general readings that I put up. Uh, I have a Libra love pop up as well as a general for the week that I put up earlier this week. So something there might resonate for you. And if all else fails and nothing resonates, then I'll see you next week. <laughs> maybe, maybe next week's energy will come through. All right. Also keep in mind that just because I'm doing an energy read, I'm not going to be doing, you know, Libra's feelings up here, Aries down here. You guys have seen me do that before. I've done that and I do do that. Uh, but this is going to be an energy general. So whatever comes out, if I'm saying this person or they are blah, 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 that could very well be you, Libra. So flip the energy if it sounds more like you. Um, then it does them. So just know that you can flip the energy in, an, in a full energy read like mine. Okay. Libra and Aries. All right. Spirit, please bring through clear and accurate messages for the Libra collective, Libras that are in a relationship, a situation, or a connection in some way, shape, or form. Uh, with an Aries. Libras that are connected to an Aries, please. What is going on this week between... Libra and Aries in their situation. Libra connected to an Aries this week. What's the mutual energy between Libra and Aries this week? Wow, okay. Bottom of the deck, oh, yeah, oh, okay. Libra, Libra, Libra. All right. Okay, so we have the chariot, we have strength in reverse, we have the tower, we have the ace of wands, the five of swords, the three of swords, temperance, and the eight of cups. And then the mutual energy is the emperor in reverse. Okay. And then bottom of the deck is the eight of swords. I feel like there's a lot of conflict here. There's a lot of conflict. Um, I feel like this is something that recently ended as well and if it didn't it might be on the way to doing that possibly there is um there's definitely an imbalance in this connection when i see the strength reverse there's there's a need for balance at which is wild that the strength reverse came out and then temperance came in there is a need for balance in this connection because there isn't any um I feel, okay, the energy that I'm feeling is very, it's very like, I don't give a shit what you believe or say. 
I feel this and I'm going to do this and this is what I want and blah, 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 blah. It's very rigid. It's, um, that could be on both of your sides, actually, because I have the emperor in reverse in mutual energy. This feels like somebody is very, very stuck in their thoughts and completely adamant about their beliefs. And there is a lot of a lot of tension here or could have just just been you know like recently this feel like i said this feels like something either just ended or possibly might um somebody's walking away or did you know completely just letting go of this situation there's i will tell you that emperor in reverse first of all the emperor rarely comes out for me and when it does it sure as hell doesn't come out reverse so when it comes out reverse this is a situation where both of you, both of you might really benefit from being a little bit more flexible. This is, there is no flexibility here. Like it is, oh, okay. My guide just said oil and water. This is like oil and water between the two of you, which could be. Actually, yeah, it really will. <laughs> It's wild when this stuff happens, okay? If you know anything about astrology, numerology, things like that, and the zodiac signs and everything else, um, the direct opposite in the zodiac of Libra is Aries. So it's it's funny how these are crossing each other. Those are, I mean, it's, it's crazy when that happens. Um, but this could also be why there is oil and water. It's coming through. Um, Hold on, my guides are my guides are talking a lot. One second, I'm sorry. Okay, my guides are saying uh, they just said they are not getting along. They haven't been getting along. Doors slamming. There's a name here with the letter B. B as in like Brad, Billy, Bob. There's a name here with a B as well. Um, and an M as in like Michelle, but there's a B and an M. But either way, that, that could be anything. But this is... I feel like, the, uh, actually, the more that I look at this, and now that I see the tower even more, I feel like there was some major fight here. You guys just don't get along. Like, there's, again, oil and water. Um, but, the, but it's because you have your beliefs, they have theirs, whatever it might be. It could be about the relationship, it could be about politics, I don't know. But you both have your beliefs, and they clash whatever it's about, there's a clashing here. And neither of you are willing to bend is what I'm hearing. So something else I will say is at what point, at what point do you, do you realize how detrimental this could possibly be between the both of you if you haven't already, right? Because again, people are walking away here. If you haven't already realized that, at what point does someone realize that being so not flexible in their thinking and so overly rigid really just destroys everything with the other person? Um, this feels like I'm just going to say it. There's no happiness here. There's no happiness here. Either you or both of you have, you're just, okay, you're stuck in your ways is what my guides are saying. You're stuck in your ways. And, oh, okay. Independent, very independent. Um, this could be a situation in some cases where somebody's been single for 
a good portion of their adult life and has you know gotten used to a very specific routine for themselves and then somebody comes along and it's like whoa 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 you know what i mean uh, that happens a lot um that could be a situation like this where again somebody's not well, well both of you are not willing to budge i'm going to tell you that right now this is not just uh their energy this is both two people two stubborn people so i i'm just gonna tell you i don't see this going anywhere and again like i said it could have already ended but i don't see this going anywhere i don't f see like full-on love here somebody in this case finally had enough or is going to finally have enough of this bullshit pretty much and realize that they're much better off either alone or um with somebody that just clicks better with them but again this is oil and water uh let's see i'm not going to do an extended for this um Spirit, what, what are, what are Aries' intentions with this Libra? Whoa, hold on. Stop, stop. One card. Knight of Swords. Yeah, listen, I just don't like this energy. I don't like it. Um, there's a very impulsive... I just heard the word rude. Very rude. I don't... No, this is, this, is so, this is somebody here that does not care about how their actions affect other people. How their words or actions affect other people. This is just, you know, they could be very immature like that or they could just be, again, so independent to the point of really destroying things so spirit where um i mean i don't even know what to ask i'm pretty sure that i'm done i'm done i'm not gonna bother that i'm done <sighs> all right libra that's all that i have for you this mm, i just heard i'm so fed up with you i mean Take that how you want. I'm sorry to have to say that. Um, but yeah, so. All right, that's what I got for this week. This is a very, someone's gonna, someone's going through this. Somebody is definitely going through this. All right, um, Libra, as always, please be well, stay safe, and take care. Bye for now.